What is up YouTube? It's Peter for Kicks and today I'm bringing you a little update on the fish room. I have just received an order from Jimco and I ordered a linear pump. I ordered, as you can see, I ordered the LPH45. It does 25 to 40 uh, outputs and it is a beast from what I hear. Now they are, the linear pumps are a lot more expensive than normal pumps. You know this pump was around 220 I believe but uh, I, you know the reviews that I've heard from it are phenomenal uh, it could run my whole fish room um, and the longevity on the linear pumps from Gemco's uh, reviews is you know eight to ten years with minimal maintenance and when I have hundreds of dollars of fish I definitely want to make sure they're taken care of so this was my uh, dream to get me one of these ones so I saved up my money and bought me a linear pump figured it was worth it. Uh, replace all of the whisper pumps as you can see I have a lot of small whisper one right there I got one back there and I have a whole bunch of small little pumps um, running some tanks and I need to replace all of them so I am really really excited to get this I also received I ordered up a whole bunch of Jaeger the Eheim heaters I got me six Eheim heaters and you should see the price that I got them for you can see it right here man there's like you know 16 19 16 14 Dr. Foster Smith has some Eheim heaters for the best prices ever I would definitely recommend stopping by there and grabbing some of those heaters if you're in the market for those um, to let you know what I did get um, yeah as I you know the linear pump it's the LPH45. It does 25 to 40 outlets, and it comes with an, um, the output hose. And I went and bought this um, hose to hose from the hardware store today, so I could hook it up with all the rest of my hoses. I got some pre-made uh, valve kits, and they're eight each, totaling 24. And what I'm going to do is put one on each wall of my fish room, um, giving me eight pumps on each wall, which will be really, really nice compared to what I have right now. And I have over here some wall clamps for the manifolds. As you can see, I have one right there. They just have their wall clamps. All you have to do is put them on the wall, nail them in, uh, put your pump up, and do the tubing and turn it on, and you're ready to rock. So I'm really, really excited. Um, you can see right here, this is a bad boy spool of airline tubing, 330 feet of airline tubing, and this is silicone tubing. I've heard nothing but good things about silicone tubing, and this 330 feet was only $22, so that's a steal over at Gemco. I did stop by the hardware store and I picked me up some stuff. Uh, what I got there is I just got these wall clamps. So I have half inch tubing, so I'm just going to use these wall clamps to run it around my wall um, and hold it on there a little bit better. Probably try to find some studs to, uh, to put those in. So yeah. Oh, and the last thing, this is the hose as well. I got 25 feet of half, uh, one half inch hose, I believe it is. And uh, that's what's going to run all the way around the room. What I'm going to do is I'm hopefully going to put it up here up either there or right over here on top of the safe and then I'm gonna run a hose all the way up there I'm gonna have one manifold right there one and then another one right there and another one right there and then I can just run the silicone tubing as I please get as many as I want out and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes from there so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and I'll bring you right back alright guys Three o'clock in the morning. Still chilling. So excited. Uh huh. Put my picture up. Thanks, Peter. I'll be moving this poster a little bit over here in just a second. But I just decided to start filming. Um, and I'm gonna be moving that thing too. But I wanted to show you, I have every single tank in here on air. Start right here. Switch the 20. This was running an aqua clear. 
I took like four HOBs off too. This one? This one had an HOB too? Put another filter in the intermediate tank to get it ready for the another 55 as well as the Calvis tank. Got them running on Eric Kelly. He's gonna be going somewhere else soon. Real nice tank actually. I put one in here just for kicks and giggles. Oh, man. Like, all the boys who have big cichlids, thanks for the heads up on this. I saw everybody had one of these little things and I saw them catching their female or their males and and keeping them from killing, you know, another fish when they didn't got, you know, tons of timeout tanks. So thanks, it was like, um, you know, Mr. Honey does it a lot. And uh, geez, I think Big does it and C Solo does it. You know, a lot of them, um, you guys do it. So I was at Walmart and I picked that up for five bucks. I highly recommend it. Grab a grab one of those timeout things because this girl is a boss she is so mean she was beating on both of these girls making them jump out of the water got air right here all of the fry tanks are running strong even got a little bit more current than they did before I'm so glad everything's centralized and check out the I grow out tank. I put three of them in there. And this tank's gonna be set up within the next few days. Boom. Yes, sir. Check this out. This is all of the pumps that I took out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight look at all that and four HOBs that thing right there boss yeah so I'm stoked pure for kicks so I'm gonna go back to working on my fish room got me the linear pump and I couldn't be happier I'm just trying to find more sponge filters now I've hooked up every single one of my sponge filters over filtration. Give me, I got all there I need. Alright. Well, that's my update for the night. Give your kicks. I'm out.